Hello from Stark Parks. Today we have a caterpillar pop quiz for you. Gather your household, grab a pen and paper, and write down your answers to play along. We'll give you the caterpillar, then you have to guess which moth or butterfly that little nugget will change into. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's take a peek at this little guy. Okay, this is number one. Very dynamic, lots of color. I like this one. This is one of my favorites. Mine too. So write down what moth or butterfly you think this little guy changes into. Okay, so let's take a look at number two. Ooh, very fancy. Mm hmm. Very fancy. The little leggies, adorable. So number two, what moth or butterfly does it change into? Okay, let's take a look at number three. Oh. Well, okay. if I know better, I would think that was bird poop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very uh, intriguing caterpillar mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look at our next one, number four. Oh. Hmm. Are those eyes? Are they not? We're going to find out and we will find out which moth or butterfly this one turns into as well. Make sure to write down your answer for number four. Okay, let's take a look at number five. Oh, mm, one of Ooh. my favorites. That one's familiar. <laughs> that one's familiar. Yeah, fuzzy little guy. Fuzzier than the other mm. ones, definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, those are all five. Um, Allison, would you like to tell us who's who? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, number one. Number one is the caterpillar of the monarch butterfly. Ooh. So the monarch butterfly lays its eggs on milkweed. That's a plant that has a poisonous sap and the caterpillars absorb that toxin into their bodies. That keeps them safe from predators. They grow as they eat and they will molt five times before they go into a chrysalis to turn into that brilliant orange and black butterfly. Wow. That, those colors let other animals know that that butterfly is not tasty. So if a bird tried to eat a monarch butterfly, it would make them sick. Makes sense. Um, yeah. Uh, monarch butterflies can be seen anywhere there's milkweed. Um, and during their migration in the fall, one of the best parks to see them at is Petros Lake Park. Oh. And this year, they're estimating migration will be in between September 8th and the 20th. So it's a great time to go see lots of monarch butterflies. Awesome. So now let's see who's number two. Oh, this little guy. Yeah, this little guy is not so little. Number two <laughs> is the tomato hornworm. It turns into the five spotted hawk moth. Wow. So this moth lays its eggs on plants in the nightshade family. This means that you probably see it a lot if you have a vegetable garden because tomatoes are part of the nightshade family. And this little guy loves to eat tomatoes. No. Those adult moths will lay their eggs in the late spring. Those eggs hatch three to four weeks later. Now the very large caterpillar gets its name, the hornworm, from that horn-like thing on the back of its body. Uh, the horn looks dangerous, but it can't sting with it. It's just there as a special display to ward off predators. Oh, you gave away his secret. Yep. <laughs> so he can't sting you, um, but they use that to scare predators away. So it's a great defense. Awesome. So now let's see who's number three. Oh, okay. Oh, bird poop. That's yeah. So number three is the viceroy butterfly. Wow. And it has another great defense. So the caterpillar is black and brown and white, just like bird poop. Um, that provides great camouflage because most things aren't going to try to eat that. So <laughs> excellent camouflage keeps it nice and safe. And then the adult viceroy butterfly is orange and black, just like the monarch butterfly. Yeah. Now, we used to think that by mimicking the color of the monarch butterflies, it was tricking animals into thinking it didn't taste good when it did. But scientists recently discovered that it also doesn't taste good <laughs> because 
it eats a uh, willow and that's what we make aspirin from so it'd be just like chewing up an aspirin which is not tasty no these beautiful butterflies can be found in meadows marshes and wetlands awesome thank you yeah so let's see who's number four this is one of my favorites <laughs> number four is the eastern tiger swallowtail yes so the youngest tiger swallowtail caterpillars start out brown and white, and they kind of look like bird droppings as well. But as they get older, and this is the way we mostly see them, they change that color to green, and they have those eye spots on the back of their body. So when they're too big to hide as bird, to hide as bird poop, they start to hide as kind of like a snake. So it makes predators think that they're way bigger than they really are. Um, the tiger swallowtail uh, can be found in woods, along streams, in parks, and open areas near the edges of forests. So cool. They're beautiful butterflies. They're beautiful. Those are ones we see all the time. Mm -hmm. So now let's see who's number five. Number five is our woolly bear caterpillar, which turns into the Isabella tiger moth. Now, these caterpillars are covered in hairs that are black and a rusty orangish brown. And as that caterpillar molts and grows, the colors shift and the caterpillars become less black and more orange. So you really can't use them to tell how far away winter is. Um, their colors change as they get older. They hibernate through the winter as caterpillars, but they're pretty tolerant of the cold. So you can still see them on sunny, kind of warmer winter days. Um, and they're, the adult moths are found in Ohio from April through August, and they have about two generations a year. So they're pretty cool moth. So those are all of our moths and butterflies from our pop quiz today. Awesome. Thanks for playing along, and please join us again next time. Yeah. Bye.